Welcome back, beautiful people. It is a very special time because we have on a very special guest. It is my pleasure to announce and to have on CCSU Stud. <laughs> no. And Hooper. <laughs> Bell Amber, how are we doing? Geez, I'm good. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm doing Stay good. I appreciate me. it. Nah, <laughs> come on now. Nah, we got to give you your flowers. Um, It's a pleasure to have you on. Thank you. So with all my athletes, I like to... Take it all back to the beginning. All right. What first got you into basketball? Um, my family. So I come from a family of six girls. Oh wow. Yeah, I'm I'm the fourth, so I have three older sisters. Shout out to the sisters. <laughs> yeah, uh, they're crazy. But growing up watching them play sports, we're very like athletic or like sports oriented family. So right. Kind of just grew up watching them do any sport and every sport. So I played every sport and then was better at basketball. So what's what's every sport? Softball, soccer, track, I danced. Wow. Yeah. Aside from basketball, what was the, what was the one you liked the most? It was probably softball. I stuck with that the longest with basketball, but then I had to stop because basketball got like more serious. Were you shortstop? <laughs> <laughs> My sister Courtney plays shortstop at Merrimack. Oh, um, wow. Yeah. That's what's up. But no, I was a right fielder. I don't know. I mean, hardcore right fielder, and all I did when I hit was bunt. So. Hey, <laughs> they, uh, you got to do what you got to do. Yeah, I guess. Um, at one point, playing basketball, did you think you wanted to keep playing into high school and then keep going from there? I think it's when I realized how good I was, and that, that kind of sounds like cocky. But <laughs> no, like, I like that. That's what we need. It's honesty because there was a point where I was on like, I was on a lower AAU team, and I'm not going to bash the AAU team because I'd actually learned a lot from them. But yeah, I was like a lower AAU team, and then a bigger AAU program was like, "Hey, like you're really good. You should come here. We'll get you a D1 offer." And I was like, "Okay." So kind of then I was like, it's getting serious now. Like, uh, this is what I have to do throughout high school. Right. And if I'm not mistaken, you went to high school in what, like Mass or something? Yeah, Central Mass, Wachusett Regional. What was – so I people visit Mass mm-hmm. from Connecticut, mm-hmm. but obviously we don't live there. Yeah. Is there any subtle differences between people from Mass and people here, or is it all really the same? Honestly, mostly the same. I will say this. Connecticut drivers suck. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm a Massachusetts driver. I think drivers so, like, suck everywhere. I like, don't know. I'm so being so serious. Like, yeah. I've never seen worse drivers than I have since I've been in college here. Terrible. Well, where in Connecticut are you driving? Here. <laughs> oh, this area, yeah. It's, it's terrible. Well, New Britain, New Britain's rough. Yeah. That's, yeah. It's, see, I try and tell people the thing with New Britain is central is like, it kind of the way the way it's set up and structured. Mm-hmm. I kind of claim that as like Newington territory, yeah, because it's so nice. Yeah, if you really get into New Britain, yeah, it's horrible. Yeah, really run down. Yeah, you know everything's sloppy. It's all dirty. Yeah. It's, so yeah, I mean that's not that's not that's no surprise. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, no, there are some pretty dumb drivers here. It's- it's crazy. So, right. like, I, I hate when people bash on Massachusetts drivers. I'm like, you guys have no idea. Oh, yeah, like, Connecticut no. Connecticut is terrible, too. Yeah, Connecticut's just... <laughs> I'm not, I'm not saying Massachusetts is great, because yeah. we're not. No, I hear you. <laughs> Connecticut. And I take no offense. <laughs> Connecticut's just a weird place, dude. Um, so, Simulation here. Yeah, right? <laughs> but growing up in Mass, did... How oh, okay? How do I, how do I put this? When you were in high school, mm-hmm. what was going on mentally with you? How were you aside from from basketball? Like, what was if you were to talk to yourself from oh. you now to you then? What are some differences if you were to try and compare and contrast yourself from from all those years ago? Grow up, yeah. <laughs> Be one of them. I wouldn't say like I just uh, I did not like high school, and it wasn't for like basketball or anything. I just like. The social aspect of high school never sat well with me. Really? Never. I had so many people that were like fake friends and I'm like, I don't, I don't do that stuff. Like if you don't want to be my friend to my face I, or behind mm. my back, I can't be friends with you. Right. So I hated high school because there was just so many people that were immature and like would do that. So I was just like, okay. I literally wow. have one friend from high school. <laughs> hey, that's, that's all you need. I was going to tell my friend this morning, I said, Hey, um, one good man could be worth a thousand. You know what no, I'm saying? Yeah, like uh, she's my best friend, and but it's just like that's what I like. Everyone's like, high school's great. Like you're gonna make so many friends, and I'm just like, where, <laughs> where are they? <laughs> Do you have uh, any high school memories that were positive in a way? Oh no, yeah. I, I mean, when I say I only had one friend, like that's like my no, one I'm not really talking. Yeah, close friend, I got you. But basketball was great. Um, for the most part, I had a bunch of close teammates, and that was a very fun experience. Word. Um. 
Yeah. Was your team good or? Uh, oh yeah, we were good. We word. so there was we would win, win districts. So it's kind of it's not states. It's like the level below that. So you know, think of it like a uh, as March Madness. Like, gotcha. Districts was everything before the final four, and then the final four was states. Okay. So like we would win. So you had success in, like, in like region. those. Okay. Yeah, and then we would lose. This is the first round of states every single time. But <laughs> yeah, I got you. Um, so I know for our high school, we have the all state wall with mm-hmm. all the names. Mm-hmm. Did were you all state all conference or anything? So you had to be right. I mean, D one <laughs> basketball. My senior year is when I kind of got all my accolades because our when my junior year we had a very good starting five. I think two of them still play basketball in college now. Wow. Um. So we were we were really good. So my senior year is when I got out all the accolades because I was kind of like that main person. Um, so I did get like our region MVP. Um, this was senior year. Yeah, region Re- MVP. I'm assuming was. you were captain too and everything. Yeah. Wow. What steps do you think it took to get to that point? Were you that? Were you? Because I'm assuming you must have been confident as hell your senior year. <laughs> but like, how, what was what was junior year and the years before it like? Um, uh, honestly, it was just being patient. I was really small, like sm- yeah. smaller than I was am now. So it was just me being patient and waiting for me to like actually grow as a player and literally just grow in height yeah. <laughs> to yeah, I got develop you. into like the player that I am right now. But you think the fundamentals were already there? Oh yeah, definitely. Like the, the, the AU program that I mentioned, like you yeah. can't, you can't play in that program if you don't have the fundamentals down. So like no I shot. had to be ready to go from freshman year. If you were to compare yourself to a player now, it doesn't need it, WNBA, NBA, any, is there any like shooting coach? Is there anybody where you constantly just watch them and said, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to put that to my, my arsenal. I like Steph Curry. I, I mean, I who always, doesn't? I always, I always say it at practice and like, Everybody makes fun of me or gets annoyed at me. But <laughs> yeah. I'm like, every time I have a good shooting day, I'm like, oh, Curry came to play. Crazy. Like, <laughs> nah, that's that's funny as hell. Wow, that's awesome. No, people definitely don't like me for that. But <laughs> <laughs> it was there a moment in high school where you realized, oh yeah, like I'm that, I'm that motherfucker. <laughs> honestly, is that a game or a practice or honestly, something? Honestly, no, I don't like. I think I don't want to like make myself sound cocky, but like I knew I was good. Yeah. But I also knew there was a, a very a lot of other good players. Right, of course. So like I always had to check myself and make sure I was like humble. Where yeah. I was like, okay, they can beat me, but I'm gonna beat them. Like that kind of thing. Like look, like yeah. you're good. Like I'm gonna acknowledge that you're good. Yeah. But I'm better. That's crazy. I was told that if I said, and I'm out of shape as hell. I got no shame in saying <laughs> that. But I was told that if I said who would win in a one on one, no rebounds if you miss, okay. shots only, me versus you. Me. That if I yeah, I was told I was told if I, I was told if I asked you that you would you would want to slap the shit out. <laughs> no, no, no. no. Honestly, no. what bothers me so much and I fight with all my guy friends about this constantly. No, I think I think you'd kick my ass. They they like fo- my football friends, they're like, You're not beating a win me one on one and I'm like Yes, I am. Yeah. Like, and this is not me trying to be like that cocky. No, it's person, what you do. Like, this is your craft. Like, this is yeah. This yeah. is my job. Like, yeah. This is this is why I go to school. Like, right. it's for basketball. Right. And I'm like, for you to sit there and tell me that you can beat me is disrespectful. <laughs> I th- like, I yeah. know I'm a girl. I'm only no. Five, I agree. I'm only five three, but yeah. You can't you can't I, guard me. I think the only fucking part that would, that would kind of suck is if you went against like a 6'6", 300 pound guy he just terrible. just has a poster ass <laughs> that's like terrible. yeah like you but can't do anything no, about that's that that's the argument they they play with me like we're just gonna body you no, like, I'm come like, on i'm like okay but if you want to play real basketball let's do let's do shots only i'm telling <laughs> right, you if you want to play real basketball three dribbles then then i would be you <laughs> now nah, y'all getting cooked <laughs> um so what was the process like for you in high school when and it can be year by year like what what did you take away after your freshman year and then sophomore year? Like yeah. tell me tell me the tell me the steps. So freshman year actually I didn't make varsity. I was on J V mm-hmm. and then I would just practice with varsity. So that was kind of me just trying to get all those skills down with the height that I was. Right. Let's be honest, I wasn't getting that much taller. Yeah. And so like I really had to work on having to shoot my quickness, things like that, because I was so short, I had to be able to learn how to use my body the right way. Mm-hmm. And then that just progressed through the years, and that's just kind of how I got to the level I am at, I'm at now. Right. Um, so, March Madness just went on. Mm. Who did you want to win when it came to both men and women's? I honestly did not care for the men. I don't, like, really? this is going to be, like, I'm going to get slandered for this. I don't watch basketball. 
Like, at all. <laughs> like, not really. Like, college or NBA. Like, I... No, I can't watch the NBA. I can't. There's... Really? Nope. Can't watch it. There's... It's not basketball. They're traveling mm, everywhere. That's true. It's just like... Have you seen the page on Insta? And it was the guy who exposes everybody for... He's like, oh, that's a travel... He's like, no, rewinding no, and... like, pl- really, yeah. though. Like, it's just like... Uh, obviously, they're so athletic and they're very skilled, but, like, they just take so many rules and like regulations out of the game in the nba where it's like right you're you're just putting a fantasy on for kids like they yeah. think that that move wasn't travel which they're gonna get called for it <laughs> in their games if they try to recreate right it. so do you not have a team then if that's the case not really no. no so could i possibly like pitch to you like a recruiting offer to the oklahoma city thunder even absolutely though i'm wearing a tim duncan not. jersey <laughs> you said not absolutely crazy not. so who would you want to be a fan of I mean, I said, I said it like Steph, Steph Curry, but I don't want to be a bandwagoner. But don't I'm, do that. I'm from Massachusetts, so I'd have to say Boston. No, <laughs> <laughs> I had a, I really had a feeling it was worth a shot. I literally said, bro, when she comes on and asks her this question, she's gonna say Celtics. I'm gonna be so mad. <laughs> I'm from Boston. I'm I know, from Boston, no, it, but it's, Boston's it's true. the city in Mass. Okay, like, but here's the thing: we're say. in New England, and I'm not a Patriots fan. I hate the Patriots. You know, mm. I'm a Bengals fan. Joe I'm, Burrow, shout I'm, out. <laughs> What you know about Joe Burrow? I'm a, I'm a diehard New England fan. Like, but so you're a Patriots can, fan too. Yeah. Oh I mean, I wouldn't say diehard, but like, I'm gonna support my area. Like, and that's then just the, what I am. And then let me ask, you're a Bruins fan too, right? Yeah. No, no, you're right. I, I, I'm, it makes I'm sense. being completely honest. I don't watch pro sports like that. Yeah. But I'm gonna support where I'm from. No, from. no, I, like, I respect just, it. That's just what it is. I'm the complete opposite. <laughs> I go against the grain. So when everyone's like, "You got," I'm like, "They don't represent me. Get them out of here." <laughs> no, nah, but shout out to the men's team. Good job, <laughs> even though none of you are watching. Um, but that, yeah, that's interesting. So you don't watch basketball at all. Well, going back to your first question, yes. I wanted, I wanted Iowa to win. Okay. Yes. I just love Caitlin Clark and like. Was she the girl that had the forty point? Yeah. Triple. She's, that she's was her. Crazy. Yeah. That was nuts. Like, it's crazy, and like my little sister would be like, "That's all luck. Like she can't actually shoot those threes." I go, Tegan, you don't make it at that high of a clip without practicing it. And come on, Tegan. <laughs> We gotta like, practice. She shoots. She shoots those like deep NBA threes at like forty percent. Yeah, that's nuts. Like that's not luck. At no. that point, it can't be. Mm-mm. She's a witch or something. At that point. So like, you wanted them to win. I did. What but were your thoughts on the LSU girl when she was when she was being? Honestly, like Caitlin did it first to Louisville or whatever. Yeah. So like I, I'm like all for the the the, the crap talk or whatever, but. Right. The following around was a bit much. <laughs> like it, there was like twelve seconds left on the clock, and yeah. she was like following her to half court. I was like, "You just won a national championship." <laughs> like, she, you, you, she, she already did it at the foul line. And I was right. like, "Oh, okay, like that's yeah. kind of cold." But then she started following her. I was like, "Okay, you're getting a little, a little excessive." Like, yeah, right. I was like, "I was like, go, go get your ring, go celebrate with your team." But I don't like, I don't yeah. like trash on her for doing that. I would have done the same thing. I would have been talking the same crap because I just won a national championship. So. Do, you, do you talk shit when you play? It depends. Has there ever been a girl where you were like, oh, so, I'm, a, I'm a freaking cooker ass? There was one. A lot of people don't tend to talk crap to me. And if it, they do, it's, it'd be a mistake. it's someone I know. Yeah. So, like, some girl, Merrimack, was talking to me, and, and I used to be AAU teammates with her. Oh, okay. I was like, what are you doing? From like, the banter? No, not really. But like, oh, like, no. Oh, so, oh, it was, oh, okay. She didn't say anything bad, but like, yeah. she was, like, trying to talk to me, and I was like, I'm not talking to you. Yeah. And then there was, at the Sacred Heart game... I took a charge, and one of the post players was, like, trying to talk to their little point guard, who's amazing, by the way. Mm. Um, and she was like, oh, she's a baby. Like, don't worry about it. I oh, look nah. at her, and I go, I have 16 points on your head. I was like, <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> and how, how late into the game was it? That was, like, the second quarter. That's crazy. I kid you not. I had, I had you toot my own heart, I had 11 points in the first quarter. What's the most amount of you scored in the game? 30 was That's this year at St. Francis Brooklyn. God! That, that was, I was not conscious. I was not alive. Oh, yeah, you, were, like, you must have just been like, in the zone. No, like, that last 30 seconds of that game was just me hucking up shots, and they went in. That's crazy. It was it was insane. And, like, the, the whole football team was there, so, like, I was feeling I was like, give oh, me that, the ball. Yeah, that, <laughs> that's sick, dude. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, so, yeah, you don't. You don't watch basketball, but no, and no. so do you, do you would you say you kind of get everything from your own craft? You would you would say? I mean, I wouldn't say like when I was younger, I would watch a lot of it, but now yeah. that I'm like in college, I'm like I, they do the stuff that I do. Like I'll watch those highlight reels of people yeah. start chucking it, but like I'm of course, like, if, if I could do that, I would shoot that too. <laughs> Have you gone against anybody in college or in high school that is either playing at a very high school at the moment? Oh yeah, or like like. Did you and were you aware of their status before even 
or before they even got to that point. Yeah, so the, the like I said, the AAU program I played for. Yeah, it's is, always AAU. Isn't it's it? a huge like I yeah. wouldn't say franchise, but it's huge and it's well known for getting girls D one scholarships. So actually, I wasn't her teammate, but one of the girls in the program, her name is Taylor Soul. She plays for Virginia Tech, so she was Shit. in the Final Four. Yeah, insane. Right, insane. Um, there's a bunch of other girls. Uh, Katiri Poole, the girl in LSU. I played against her in AAU. Really? Yep. She almost blocked my shot. I will never forget almost. that. I, I like, I had it and I like up faked and I literally almost let it go. And I saw her like at the corner of my, I was like, oh my gosh, <laughs> <laughs> I was so scared. Do you think now because you're a seasoned player and like, you know, your shit, do you, do you think that because this is what you do, you wouldn't be scared to play anybody or let's say somehow, I don't know, pay everyone, compare, everyone, when you think of uh, bet women's basketball players, especially around our age, yeah. everyone thinks of Paige. Yeah. Do you think if if Paige played you in a one on one, like you wouldn't be scared to play her, or would you be like, oh, what's, what's up? Like, let's go. My ego would tell you no, I wouldn't be scared, but me realistically would be like, oh. yeah, <laughs> I'm, a, I'm. She's a very good player, and because, like I'm confident yeah. in what I can do. Of course, but the level that I play at, even though we're both D one athletes, the level that I play at and the level that she plays at yeah. is too like it's like black and white. It's but completely different. That th- another element though is the the starstruck factor that yeah. people don't talk about. Yeah, you know, if you're playing a game and you could be really yeah. good, but it's like, oh, so let's say an NBA player, you're in the NBA, but you're going against Michael Jordan. Yeah. And you're like, oh my God, it's Michael Jordan. So yeah. if Michael Jordan's guarding you, right. you know how to play yeah. because you're so fixated on, yeah. I can't believe this is happening. Right. You kind of, kind of get lost in the sauce. Yeah, I don't know if I would be like you don't fixated think that would like that, but yeah. I'd be like, okay, she's very good. Right, <laughs> but. You can also, you're also good. So it's like just. Yeah, of course. Yeah, it's just kind of like I don't think I would be like in awe where I'd be like drooling at the yeah. trying to guard her, but I. Yeah, like this pretty like, crazy. I'd just be like, all right, she's she's definitely good. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever had any aspirations to keep playing basketball after college? I did. Did I don't, I don't anymore? What what happened? Um, Talk to me. Well, injuries. My body cannot handle it. No. Uh, I got really bad knees and, you know. You're too young to be having bad knees. You know, you would think that. Ain't no way. (laughs) I have terrible knees. Crazy. Um, I did. And then I just kind of realized I was like, well, my body hurts. I do want to have a family and like a job and like and stuff like that. So I was like, do I really need to drag this on longer than it needs to go? Which sounds kind of bad, but I'm already getting an extra year. So. Yeah. What year are you in at Central? I'm technically a sophomore, but I'm a junior, like, in the class. Is that because of the extra COVID year? Yeah. So... So I have... So what do you technically graduate? You graduate... 2025 is yeah. when I would graduate, yeah. What, so when did you come to Central? 2020. Oh. Mm-hmm. Let's talk... Okay, let's talk about that. So what, what was your process to getting to Central? And then we'll obviously get into that year. So, honestly, my recruiting process was trash. Um, <laughs> I didn't really get any D1 looks. Um, mm. Was that the expectation? I want to be a D1 player? That's what I, 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 I think I had a more realistic point of view than a lot of the other girls in my program where I was like, okay, I'm short. So, D2, maybe D1. Like, yeah, I'll take that. Like, whatever. I just want to play college basketball. And I, this is no offense, but, like, I knew I was better than D3. So, I was like, I want to, I'm going to try to go higher. Naturally. Yeah. So... Um, I literally emailed all the schools in the NE10, if you know what that is. It's just a conference in New England. What other schools are there? That's like, it's a D2. It's like Assumption, Stonehill came from there, okay. Merrimack came from there. Cool. So it was all those schools. None of them really answered me. So I was like, yeah. okay. I was like, whatever. And you had to do all the emailing yourself. Yeah. Oh my gosh. The recruiting process. I, I urge anybody who's in the recruiting process, please email everyone and anyone that you can. It's terrible. But do it. Yeah. <laughs> it's literally the worst, but it does Had help. to be done. Yeah, it did. Um, but, yeah, going, it was the day before my senior year started, I had nothing. Like, no looks, no offers, nothing like that. And I was like, okay. Like, the previous summer I went to a camp they had here, and I, I did well. And then they kept in touch with me and then they called me and they're like yeah we want to offer you this was like the day before my senior year and i was like yep okay i'll take it yeah which honestly looking back on it i probably could have waited a little longer because i had a really good senior season um but i was honestly just scared i was like this is the only thing i have right now so i'm gonna take it yeah so you go to central Hmm. did you did you say i'm going here as soon as you took a visit on campus how did how did that work Hmm? 
when it came to Central. Yeah. Did so what? They just email you like, yeah, like what we want you, or did you like have to take a visit there? No. And then boom. So, like I said, that summer camp I did was like the first mm-hmm. time coming to school. Yeah. Or coming to this right. campus. And then after that, they just kind of kept an email. Oh, okay, got you. And then that's when they called yes. me. And then after I committed, they actually gave me like a really tour and stuff. So yeah. you didn't do it before? <laughs> <laughs> no, really, yeah. though. Like, what, like when I tell you, like, I could have waited or like there are things in my process that I could have done better. Like, yeah. there were. So what was your first impressions when you first came to this area? I honestly don't remember. Mm. Um, to be fair... I haven't really ever. I did not tour any other college. Wow! Big mistake on my part. <laughs> yeah. But but everything happens for a reason. Yep, this is true. Um, I was obviously meant to be here, so that's fine. Um, when I came here, it it just seemed like a normal college to me, if I'm being honest. Like, mid was nice. Like that's where they took me. That's where yeah. I stayed. We went to a house party, and I was like, okay, this is just like a normal college. Yeah. So. Um, when in 2020 did you visit? Oh my gosh, when did I visit? It was, I visited in actually 20, did I visit in 2020? Man, time has messed up since then, huh? I, it was when the football team won the NEC championship. I came to that game. I want to say that was 2019. Oh, so that's it was 2019, but it was the, the 2019 2020 before 2020. Yeah, that's what it was. Yes. So I I committed 2019 going into my senior year because I graduated 2020. Gotcha. From high school. Yeah. So so what was that like? So I'm assuming because you graduated during COVID. Yeah. Right. It was terrible. It was just it, that honestly that that part of my life is such like. It's so, yeah. like, fuzzy where I'm just, like, I don't really remember anything yeah. that happened. What was it like for you at school in Mass? How did they break the news to you guys they to go home and tell me the story? So, I think I went I went to Florida for, like, April vacation or something to watch my sister go play in Florida for softball because yep. they took a trip. Yeah. And then that week I came back. They were like, oh, no more school. And I was like, okay. <laughs> like, I was like, oh, okay. So, I didn't even have Wait, was Wait, was it March or April? You sure it was April? It might have been. I know, I know it, the, it was March. Because I know March, everything right? went down in March. It was March because yeah. my basketball season just ended. Right. And then I went to Florida. So you went, and, and then that it, was when things were, you know, like, I didn't rumors. Even get, yeah, right. Knew. Like, I did not even get, like, a last day of school. Like, the That's final crazy. last day of school. Nope, didn't happen because I, mean, I was in Florida. <laughs> oh, at least you were, hey, you were somewhere <laughs> I nice. I was like, okay, yeah. But, yeah, um, dude, uh, let me break it down to you. For the central area, it was crazy. Yeah. For us. So the day before they shut did the shutdown. I had I was taking this this acting class just for a gen ed and I had to go to a play mm-hmm. and like take notes on the play and I don't want to sound disrespectful but I was on my phone <laughs> and I was looking because the Thunder were competing for the playoffs yeah. and we were going against Utah Jazz and that was the same day where their center Rudy Gobert at the time he infamously touched all the mics and like joked around oh COVID this COVID that that oh, same no. day that morning later that day or later right before the game he tests positive for COVID. Like, like of course, of course that happens. And I'm watching the game on my phone, and I'm seeing all the players going back to the locker room. And I swear to God, I saw the the PA system say, like, all the fans, you must go home immediately. And I'm looking at my friends around me. I'm like, oh, my God, they just shut down the NBA. What is going on? So while well, I'm not shut damn play, I'm like, yo, nobody knows what's going on right now. So then the play ends, and I'm talking to them. I'm like, dude, we might be in trouble. And... Go home. Didn't have class the next day, thank mm-hmm. God. We get a massive email. Yeah. Everyone's got to pack their shit and leave now. So you know how small campus is. Yeah. Imagine all those people trying to leave. Right. And everyone tell, has their, I'm sure you could ask anybody that was there at the time. They have stories of all the movers either stole or somehow lost their shit that they really? left behind. Nobody was able to bring everything with them at once because obviously there was no prep time for that. Um, but it was nuts. Absolutely nuts. But I... High school is crazy though, cause yeah. you, you so you didn't get a prom, you didn't get no, nothing. No, I didn't get a graduation. Nothing. They just had to send in like a video, and it's like, oh, like here's the video of you. Did you do the the drive by thing? We did. Yeah, and that was actually pretty cool. But I was like, okay, like right. nobody knows me, and I'm just like, <laughs> I'm driving by these random people yeah. who are waving at me. But yeah, I actually ordered a prom dress. 
No. And it was like from China or something. So my mom was like, you need to leave it outside for two days. And you still get your pictures? <laughs> I, yeah, I did take pictures in it with my best friend. There you and go. my boyfriend at the time. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah I, I, I had a little, like, I got to dress up and stuff, so that was fun. But That's what's up. It wasn't, like, it wasn't prom. <laughs> How were you mentally and physically during during uh, all those years? From, I'll say, like, it was like 2020 to 2022. Yeah. I honestly think that this was the time that, like, I started grinding, like, really? in the weight room. Because I was like, what else am I supposed to do? Mm. I respect that. Yeah. So did that? Where did you get to work out? I uh, my my garage usually like we didn't have a, a ton of stuff. My mom put in like a whole rack now, but like we didn't have a ton of stuff. But that's what I would do. Like yeah. I would just use what I had, and like there was a gym. There was a small business gym that I used to go to, and they're like, here, like we'll give you some equipment. Like you can use this at home. Like mm-hmm. just make sure you give it back. So that was pretty cool. What do you think is the most helpful workout one can do as a basketball player or conditioning workout? Conditioning. The conditioning and and lifting. Playing. Just playing. Mm. Like, you just, like, I hate, I don't understand suicides. I don't understand, like, any of that <laughs> stuff. Sorry, not suicides, yeah. shuttles. I don't understand. Oh, did they change the name? Yeah. I don't understand any of that stuff. Because yeah. I'm like, if you want me to be conditioned, can we scrimmage? Like, scrimmage. Right. Like, one-on-one, stuff like that. Like, that's yeah. what you in basketball shape. Because let's be honest, basketball is not just, it's a lot of running up and down. But it's not always running Or doing, like, game simulated speed right. type drills. Right, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's a stop and go. Yeah. Like, jump that kind of stuff like right. it's not just running um in the weight room mm-hmm. probably squats i love i used to before my knee yeah. like busted i love doing cleans i just felt so strong cleaning oh you, you um, like hand cleaning i loved it i wasn't yeah, i wasn't a fan of it I when it. i played football it made me feel so strong i was right. like there's no way i'm moving all this weight right now but yeah, it's all the, just the way the, the yeah. low gravity yeah <laughs> yeah gotcha so how did, what happened to the knee? You said before my knee busted. Yeah, so I didn't really, like, bust anything, like, no tendons or ligaments yeah. or anything like that. But I found out that I have this thing called a bipartite patella, so which is pretty much my patella bone is in two pieces. And basically the cartilage and all that friction. How stuff, rare does that have to be? Oh, it's, like, 2%. Like, what the yeah. heck? Yeah, it's terrible. Oh. And, like, usually it doesn't hurt people, but, like, yeah. they when I looked it up and the doctor explained it to me, it's, like, it usually tends to cause pain when – you bump something or you mm. fall on it. And I'm like, oh, so my sport. <laughs> so, yeah, so how did you find that out? Um, it was actually hand cleaning. I was doing it, and I was like, no. No. I was like, that hurt a lot. Yeah. So I got an MRI, and then that's when they told me. And then I had surgery, actually, before this season, and they cleared up, like, all the rough cartilage. Mm. Um, so how does it feel now? Around. Um, it still hurts, but <laughs> <laughs> we're getting another MRI. Um, it's, oh, no. It's weird. Like, I don't, like, think, like, it's just, like, a weird injury or, like, whatever. So, yeah. like, I think the doctor's even trying to figure it out, which Do I think... don't, like, blame him for. Yeah. It's, it's literally so weird. Do you think it'll be good enough to go, hopefully? I can play. It's yeah. just more so for the longevity of my life I want it to f- be figured out. Gotcha. So, like, I can, like, maybe pick so, up like, my kids. Or... <laughs> yeah, so you can probably, like, for basketball-wise... Maybe like the year or two left, whatever you have. Yeah, yeah. And I'll then, be able to finish my yeah. career for sure. But, but if like, you like play 10 years, like your knees just yeah, going to no. be like, dust. I would, I would like to I be follow. able to like lift and stuff like that when I'm yeah. out of college to stay in shape. And like if my knee continues like this, it's not going right. to be fun. So how was it for you when – so when were you first on campus? Were you on campus during 2020, the fall of 2020? Mm-hmm. What was that whole experience like for just, you? Uh, it was, again, like it's like a total simulation. Like nobody was here, like ghost town. Like, yeah. It was so weird. I was up in Vance. With really? my teammate Allie, actually, we ha- we out. roomed. Shout out Allie. Yeah. <laughs> we we roomed together for our first semester, and like fans is like, I don't know why we decided to room together because we were crammed into a tiny a yeah. tiny room. Right. Um. So like that was super weird, and like we would just hang out at the quad, which was pretty cool. Like we met a bunch of the volleyball girls then too. Mm-hmm. Um. But it was just so weird. That was like, three years ago. Yeah, we could never eat. We didn't eat mm. in the cafeteria. Like hilltop wasn't even a thing. Yeah. Like, it was just. It's still barely, it's slowly yeah. starting to get I, which back. Which I don't understand. Like, I'm, well, probably they don't have enough workers, but I was like, yeah. you just open it up. <laughs> Hilltop before 2020. I, I've heard it was amazing. It's the spot. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, I, man, I don't know how y'all be eating that food. I'm, I'm just saying. I don't know how you got. Do what you gotta do. Yeah, I, I guess so. We only get wraps at Mem. Really? Literally. Yeah, I, uh, we had, so. I work at the rec. Shout out the rec. Um, I work there. <laughs> a lot there. of shout outs. Yeah. yeah, yeah all, all, all the time. Oh, you must not know. All, all, all the time. Uh, but yeah, we had this uh, this training back in August before getting ready for the fall semester. And they sent us all the men for lunch. And oh my God. I should... 
bad. I'm just leave it there. I'm gonna leave it there. Just... I am totally convinced they put laxatives in mem food. It's insane. And the other thing is, I don't know. I just I love being a commuter. Okay, I love it. Mm-hmm. I couldn't imagine having to walk my ass to and fro for dinner, <laughs> lunch, breakfast. You can't. You know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And just gotta walk. I don't know. I don't know how you do it. it. It's like you gotta most report. Of, most of the time, if it's like late, I drive. <laughs> I don't feel like walking. Yeah. How often do you visit home? Um. Honestly, not often as people would think because I don't live that far. I live like an hour and a half, hour yeah. 15. But during the basketball season, I can't leave. Oh, like, no shot. I literally shot. can't leave. I've been going home more often because I have a job now at home. So that's why I'm home like mostly every weekend now. But no, I really don't go home that often. What's your major? Exercise science. What do you want to be? That's a good question. Fair, you don't need to know. <laughs> you don't need to I know the answer to that I question. I don't know, but I do have a lot of ideas. Um... So my job at home is actually coaching. That's what's up. Yeah, I'm assuming basketball. Eighth, eighth and seventh graders. There you yeah. go. So that's kind of fun. Um, I also thought right out of college I'd just go into cardiac rehab because you don't need like a master's or anything for that. So right. There's one option. And then the other option would probably be athletic training. Do you have a minor? Mm-mm. Exercise Actually, science, though. That's no, what's up. Um, what made you want to pick that? So honestly, I... I came in here being a crim and psych major, mm. so I didn't switch my major until this year. So that's why I have to use like all ah. my of eligibility to get my bachelor's. What made you want to be crim originally? My dad. My dad. He he's a correctional officer. So I was like, oh, okay, like that's cool. My dad does that. Yeah, that's what's cool. up. Um, I always had like an interest for like murder mysteries and stuff like that. You ever watch any shows and stuff like that? Yeah, like, uh, oh my gosh. What's it called? How to Get Away with Murder. <laughs> My mom loves that show, which really? honestly scares me. Never seen it yet. <laughs> but Dexter. Um, no. What is it called? Oh, Criminal Minds. Criminal oh, okay. Minds. Yeah, I'm like a big course. Criminal Minds fan. So yeah. like that's why I was like, yeah, like I'll do this. Like that's so, so cool. And then <sighs> sophomore year, I was like, this isn't really fun. Like, it's, just, <laughs> yeah. it's just a bunch of papers and like. Mm. And whatever. And, like, my, the biggest thing for me for switching was, like, the political aspect. Like, I don't want to have a job where politics is involved 24-7. I'm so glad you brought 24/7. that up. 24-7. Yeah. And I'm like, I don't want, like, politics on Tuesday to determine how I do my job on Thursday. Like, it's not, like, I want to be able to just do my job and live my life Yeah. how I know how to do it. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Dude, I was actually telling this story yesterday. Happy Easter to all of you, by the way. Mm. Well, late Easter. Um... I was telling the story, so I'm a comm major right now. Mm-hmm. And that's what I'm going to finish as. Originally, I was undecided, and then I switched to, I, f- I forget what. I think it was like something with business. Mm-hmm. But then I was a sociology major for a semester without oh, knowing. Yeah, without knowing. <laughs> yeah, I'm like a damn caterpillar. <laughs> um, I was a sociology major for a semester. I go to advisory, and I'm talking with my advisor. And she's like, yeah, you, so, so the next step is you have to take these classes, and I'm seeing – and this like this is just my preference, what I'm about to say. But it, those classes like gender and equality, race and justice, mm-hmm. and all those things are important to you know care about. But I was like, I don't give a crap about this. Yeah. Like I don't care yeah. about politics and this and that. Yeah, and she's like, that's a good thing. Like because you, you you're not meant for this. Right. So we're gonna move you somewhere. I was like, hell yeah, <laughs> thank you. So that's yeah. And then there was a brief time where. For like a split second, within one week, I convinced myself I was going to be a nurse, just like my mom. She's a nurse. Shout out to my mom. Yeah. Um, and I, I filled out all the paperwork. I was like, I'm going to do it. I'm going to be a nurse. I'm going to wipe and clean people's asses. <laughs> I, I'm convinced. <laughs> and then and then they rejected me. They said I need a prereqs and stuff. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. Now I'm meant to be. Yeah. Yeah. Don't need to be a nurse. No, nursing's a lot. Yeah. It's like, it, yeah. I like... Exercise signs is a lot, so I couldn't even imagine nursing. My roommate is a nursing major. Shout out, Morgan. Shout and, out. There you go. <laughs> and she's constantly, like, test after test or and you like, can't, oh work. My like, oh, mm. my gosh. I, God bless her soul. I could not do it. And my mother and yeah. my sister, who are both nurses, no, could not be me. You ever thought about uh, being a PT? I did. Um, and then I realized that it's a lot of old people. And I was What's like, wrong with nothing, that? Against, nothing against old people. Nothing against old people. You could learn a lot of wisdom. That's true. Um, But as my career for my life, (laughs) I just think that I would be more fitting for like an athletic trainer, being around athletes and stuff. Okay. That makes makes more sense. Because I was about to say, because I mean, you get also a lot of young athletes that go to like a select therapy and 
You get to talk to them. Right? Yeah, but like I got you. Majority, it would be older people. What would you look forward to most if you were to be an athletic trainer? I would love to just be a part of like of a big program. Mm. Like I think it'd just be so cool just to be like, like on LSU's training staff, like. I think be a part of LSU to begin with. Being right, like be I, I'll, I'll serve different. those players water any day. I don't care. <laughs> do you know how much? Do you know how much NFL water boys make? How they much? they make like like fifty sixty k a year. Oh wow! Being a water boy. Oh wow! <laughs> come get this water. <laughs> you know? Are you kidding me? Yeah, that's crazy, dude. That's nuts. So, fall of twenty twenty, did they let you guys play? Or was contact allowed? We did play. Um, what was that like? It was really weird. We played only in conference. Yeah. And we didn't have to wear masks to play. But if you were on the bench, you had to wear masks. And, like, what the, the bench was super spread out. And, like, it was, like, zigzag. So, like, person be here, person there, like, couldn't be near each other. Like, all this other stuff. And I was like. Wow. I was like, we are literally sharing bodily fluid on the on the court. And now I have to put a mask on on the sideline. Yeah. Around so, my teammates who I'm around 24 seven already, like the guy, like, like I don't know. I think everybody they were try. They were just. I, I think they were I, overthinking I, I it. Guess, I think no. everyone over. They were overthinking I, it. I can agree with that. Like they were trying, but I was like, it still doesn't make sense. Though. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah, it's not making sense. We had to be the freaking mask police at the rack. Oh my! I felt terrible. I'm like, I, I wish. I, you know, I agree with you. Yeah. But the rules are the rules. Wh- whoever I, came up I with them. I don't know. I don't. I don't like. That was a weird time. I, my mom would tell me, like, masks, like, the only mask that worked would be, like, the N95 that was, like, completely yeah. shut around your mouth. So, like, yeah. I was like, you guys are just, this is no point. This right. No point. Yeah, that was a, I cannot believe that we we're, like, three years removed from that. That was yeah. a weird time. We, I, it, like, things are back to normal now. Yeah, it seems. Like, last year it seems wasn't. Like good. Yeah. <laughs> it seems like Last good. year it wasn't. Like, we'd still have to wear masks, and it yeah. wasn't until, I think, the spring semester where they're like, okay, you can take them off. Yeah. And I was like, oh, thank God. It's about time. I was like, I don't even know what half these people on campus look like. <laughs> I just think that it came to a point where everyone was so frustrated of staying inside and not being able to be around each other, mm-hmm. where they just found something to debate about. Yeah. You'd be oh, at a dinner yeah. table with somebody and just start. Yeah. Like, you just start arguing. Yeah. And you don't even know how the argument started. <laughs> I think that's kind of what happened with the whole mask yeah. thing. That was such a weird time. It really was. Oh, my God. So, 2021, a year later. Tell me about that season. What was going on then? So, that season. Oh, my gosh. I don't remember. If you can remember. Yeah. Um. It was It was just, like, a regular season, honestly. Yeah. It went back to normal. Like, we, we got to play out of conference stuff, so that was cool. Um, is that, that I, that's like probably like the that's when I actually felt like a college athlete. Okay, like we started traveling, we started playing bigger schools, and then we played in conference and then stuff like that. What so. What'd you take away from that season personally? Um, probably gotta have a scorer's mentality. Mm. Um, I so were you a little more passive then. Yeah, I would say my freshman my freshman year, like, I was obviously a freshman, but I had a great opportunity because we only had one point guard ahead of me, which was forever. Um, so, like, me and her would not split time, but, like, I would go in for her and get my minutes. But, like, I was like, okay, I'm, I'm the point guard. I'm here to pass. I'm here to play defense, like, all yeah. that stuff. And I think sophomore year I turned into more like, all right, I'm going to go in, still play that same defense that I played, but now I'm going to get a bucket as well. Mm-hmm. What do you think is the key to playing good defense? That's a good question. Honestly, timing and knowing mm. your strengths as defense. Like me, like, again, I'm going to bring up that uh, sacred heart guard. Um, she's super quick. Like, yeah. I'm, I can't keep – I can't stay in front of you the full length of the court, but I can stay in front of you behind the three-point line. Like, right. I can keep you here. So, like, knowing w- your speed compared to theirs and knowing what they do well mm. or what they don't do well. Yeah, because I've heard coaches say, dictate where they go. Don't let them dictate you. Like, how do you do that? I mean, because I know you're like, okay, I know they're not a lefty. Yeah. I'm going to make them dribble with yeah. the offhand, you things can, like that. You can but. definitely try to influence how they play, but good players are going to find a way to play yeah, right. their way no matter what. Oh. So at the end of the day, it comes to just containing them. And, like, my thing with her, that Sacred Heart point guard, was, look, she wants to get to the rim. So I'm going to give her a step. I'm going to make her shoot. Mm. I, she can go left or right to the rim. I don't care. Yeah, like, she's just give her a little bit of space. No matter what, but yeah. I'm going to keep her far away from the rim as I can. Right. I think, do you know, I'm not going to, I mean, I maybe you do, maybe you don't. You know who Patrick Beverly is? Pat Bev? I feel like I... I NBA feel, player? Yes. 
yes, if I saw his face, I'm he's so definitely, much better with faces. Yeah. I definitely do. You definitely but, see him. He's always yeah. on the internet because he's always talking shit. Yeah. Uh, like he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a point guard in the, in the league. Yeah. He's been in the league for a long time. And he's known as like the the guy when he's on the court. Like he, he's just there to play defense and yeah. just get in your head. Yeah. Um. I think that's what I would do. Yeah. I'll just talk mad smack. Uh-huh. I don't even care if they. I don't even care if they score. Because they're because then they're you know. See, that's like probably one of my biggest pet peeves. It's like like why are you talking crap to me if I'm so, scoring on you? That's true. <laughs> but like, but but it annoys you, doesn't it? I mean, sure, but not to the point where I'm like not gonna play. I'm like I'm still scoring on you. What are you like? You're just wasting your own energy mm. <laughs> at this point. I, don't know, I mean, it's better than staying. Do you know how disrespectful it'd be to stay quiet and get humbled? Do you know what I'm saying? Like that is, I can't go out of my shield like that. I don't that. know. I don't know. I think it's like imagine. This is my opinion. I think it's more embarrassing if you're talking crap and then they like score. Okay, then okay, then what if you're you're cooking and you're talking yeah. and then you're just taking it and not even talking back? I was give me the ball. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. That's yeah. Fair. That's fair. I don't know. I feel like there's a level of respect because I hate it. When I would just like casually play pick up with some random guys hmm. and it's just like it's competitive. But nobody's talking smack. This yeah. one dude scores. It's you a little bit. I'm like, oh, who is this guy? Like, what do you think? You're in the NBA or something? Like, yeah. bro, that is crazy. Yeah. Um, But be a little, be more of a scorer. That's what we took away from sophomore era. It was so, just being more, like, aggressive. Like, yes. Don't be afraid to go get a bucket. Hell yeah. <laughs> and now this season, if I'm not mistaken. This past season. What happened this past season, Bell? <laughs> Break it down for me. Um, what was the mindset right before the season, and how do we feel after? I think the mindset was it's like I'm a, I'm an upperclassman now, so like I mm. have this leadership role even more so now because I'm older, because I've had some seasons now under my belt. So like I have to be able to produce for my team, but also help the younger ones learn how to do the same thing. Yeah, so. is that frustrating for you at times? Um, yeah, at times, but. Um, I try to give grace whenever I'm leading or yelling or whatever I'm doing. Right. Um, but I think everyone on my team knows that if there's like a heat of the moment argument or whatever, it's all coming from a place like we know you can do better or I know you can do better. So listen, do this yeah. because it's going to help you and help the team. You have any pregame rituals? Uh, pray and really just listen to worship music is what I do. Really? Yeah. Before every game? Yeah. Is that more of like a calm thing or is that, is that like, do you kind of turn that into controlled rage? I mean, I don't know. I, I mean, yeah, that's a good point. I think mostly it just humbles me and reminds me like, this isn't my career. Like it is my career, but it's in God's hands. So like, mm. it's like, all right, so this is, this is what I do, but right. I only do this because God gave it to me. Yeah. It's not an uncommon thing. I know some, I think Russell Westbrook, he listens to, I think he could have been totally capping. Mm. I don't know. I think him and. <laughs> Uh, well, LeBron was definitely lying about this, but I know Russ said he listens to orchestra music mm-hmm. before games. That's I mean, that's kind of interesting. No, yeah, the, the the music you listen to definitely has an impact on how you are just as a human being. Mm. Um, I definitely think worship music plays a role in like being peaceful and like just centered and like okay, it's game time. God's got me. Mm. I'm gonna go out and do my thing. Do you think that also plays a role into free throws? Mm. You calm? Are you, are you calm as hell during free throws? Mm. Yeah. What do you think is the key to to being an efficient free throw scorer? Confidence. Yeah. That's going in. And if it well, don't, that's simple enough. If it don't, then oops. But <laughs> it's going in. Do, like, what do you do before a free throw? Like, do you take like two dribbles and then shoot? Like, what what do you do before? Like, how? It's yeah. like two dribbles, spin, one dribble, and then put it in. That's what I do. How how did that come about? Is this what you've always Trial done? Trial and or? error. <laughs> <laughs> yeah right. Yeah, I feel like I feel like if I'm like I make five in a row, I'm like, oh, I yeah, found I found right. it, and no, then I miss. I'm like, oh, I see I see people do the craziest things, and I'm like, you're yeah. doing too much. Like, it's just take the shot. <laughs> I I remember seeing one dude where he he did one dribble to the right behind the back, and then I'm, I'm like, behind the back free throw. No, like what happens no. if you lose the ball? That's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> yeah. like don't do too much. Don't do no crossovers, no step backs or anything like yeah. that. Like just simple. Like okay, dribble the ball. Get your hands in the laces and shoot. As soon as you do the ritual, do you do you shoot right away or do you do you like take a little pause and then so shoot? So every time I shoot, actually, I try to find the laces and I put my fingertips in them. Just as, that's just what my um, yeah shooting coach has taught me. Mm. And once I do that, I just all right, it's going in. Is that is that the art of shooting? What is the art of shooting to you? Honestly, I think 
ever since he taught me to find the laces is probably what's increased my shooting percentage so mm. much. Shout out Tim. Shout anyway. out to Tim. <laughs> but yeah, he, it's really like, you'd be in like mid stride to shoot and like he's like, you need to find the laces as you're going into your shot. So like, wow. When you catch a ball, like, be he's, qu- like, quick twist. he's like, re-catch it and find the laces and then put it in. But mm. it's honestly, like, when you think about it, you see so many people with, like, wax spirals or whatever you want to call it on the ball when they shoot. Like, yeah. my little sister shoots the ball like a knuckleball. Like, it doesn't even move. I'm like, you find your fingers in the laces, that thing's going to have, like, that perfect spin on it. Right. And honestly, it helps with the percentage of the shot so much that people don't understand. What was your favorite moment from this past season, aside from the game where you went off? The game after that? Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, the game after that was a lot of fun. So that's when we beat Sacred Heart, which was like the number one scene of the conference. And we're like, I number, hate Sacred we're Heart. Like number I eight. can't stand it. I can't. Don't don't get me started on that. <laughs> yeah. I can All the on. athletes on campus can't stand it. I can go on and on. I can go on and on about them. But mm. um, that Damn. game was actually a lot of fun because yeah. me and Forever were both like going off. Um, Shout out to Forever, too. Yeah. Shout out. And... We had this, I don't know if I should say this, but I'm going to say it. We had, this, we had this bet beforehand. Mm. So after I scored my 30 points the game before, she was like, okay, like I scored a 30 point game. Like, I don't, I think it was against Wagner, like my freshman year, she scored her 30 points. Yeah. And then I scored a 30 point game. She scored a 30 point game. She's like, okay, next one of 30 points gets a new pair of dunks. Crazy. And I was like, okay, bet. <laughs> so that next game, yeah. I go off and I'm at 28 points and she's at like 26 at this point or oh like 25. God. And it's like the end of the game, they're fouling. She's the only one going to the free throw line. And I'm like, no, this can't happen. <laughs> I was like, no. Yeah. And then I was like, wow. talking to her, I was like, forever, like, I'm only two points away. Like, <laughs> let's switch up the play a little bit. I'll get the ball. I'll get fouled. I'll get the free throw yeah. line. Right? We tried it. I didn't get the ball. Oh, Forever got no. the ball again, and she got fouled. And my coach was like, why would you do that? And I was like, Forever told me to. <laughs> Crazy. But no, that was a really fun game. So did she Did she get the 30? No, neither of us hit it. Oh. But it was just fun, like, competing like that. Yeah, even, that's awesome. Even within, like, the game itself. But, like, yeah. we were playing so well against the one seed in our conference, too. Like, obviously, no one was expecting that. So yeah. it was just that. And then on top of having... A great game, both of us, was just a lot of fun. I think it's little things like that that bring out the best in players, though. Oh, yeah. Little, little friendly competition. Yeah, yeah. What's the, so what is the outlook for next season? Are you guys losing anybody? Same team? Running uh, it back? No, we're actually losing a lot of people, and mm. we, are get, we are getting a new coach. Really? So, yeah. So this process has been a little stressful, but uh, nonetheless, we're young. Um, so we have a lot of room to grow and yeah. learn, which I'm excited about. Um but we also don't have that many players, so I'm sure a lot of people would come in um, once a new coach gets hired. Mm. So I know I asked you about this beforehand, and um, I want to ask now. I know that at Central there's a Bible study group. Mm-hmm. Tell, talk to me, and obviously you've brought you've brought God up a couple times here. Talk to me about how you you became so faithful and how that that whole journey with God, everyone has their own journey Mm -hmm. when it comes to faith, but talk to me about that. Yeah, so really, um, I didn't grow up, like, around faith or God really at all. Um, Like, I'd go to church with my grandma on Christmas or Easter, but, like, Mm -hmm. we're not really a religious family. And then once I came here, COVID and basketball, I really hit a low point, and I was like, WTF, like, this, this yeah. sucks, like, what's going on? Right. Um, that sophomore year when I came back in the fall is when I came to my faith. And, you know, I had a lot of friends that I met around campus that believed as well, and they were just pouring into me and, like, helped me find God along that way. Mm. And, and how's that been? How's that been going? It's been amazing. Um, God is so good. Um, I just... I, I often go back to that time where I was really, like, honestly depressed. Like, and I'm going to say this, like, I was damn near an alcoholic. Yeah. So, like, it's, like, it's come to the point where it's, like, all right, like. Wow. I look back on that, and I'm, like, I'm so far from that, and I'm just amazed at how much God has blessed my life, even when I didn't believe in him. Like, you can look back on your entire life and see him there if you really look. Mm. That's insane. Wow, that was very well said. Uh, do you have a favorite passage? Or verse? Scripture. I do. I have a lot, honestly, but one that just came to mind would be John 13, 7, and it's like, you don't know the things I'm doing now, but later you will. Mm. It's a very well-known one, but it's very, very helpful because, or just like knowledgeable and like puts you at peace because it's like, okay, 
I don't understand why this is happening yeah. to me. Like, I could say that with my injury. I'm like, I don't understand right. why my knee still hurts, but it's fine. You got it. Yeah. <laughs> you obviously know more than me. You're bigger than me. You have a better right. perspective. Like, you got it. Uh, of, it seems like most people in that group would have to be Christians, right? Because mm-hmm. you said you didn't grow up going to church that often. So there's no way you were baptized as a baby, were you? No, I was not. Mm. Are, are you baptized now? I am. So actually, this past summer, I got baptized. Really? Which was really cool. Where did yeah. you get baptized at? My pool. Nice. Did, did you have f- like family and yeah, friends there? Yeah, my whole family like was there. Wow. I invited some of my friends, and then my pastor came and dunked me in my pool. That's so nice. Mm. Wow, look at that. Um, I have Philippians 4.13 mm. tatted from here to here. I like that one a lot. Right behind you, my favorite movie of all time, Pulp Fiction. Mm. That's Ezekiel 25.17. Um, the path of the righteous man, et cetera, et cetera, yeah. that whole thing. Um, yeah, no, there's a, there's a lot of, there's a lot of hidden gems in the, in the Bible. The whole, if, the whole thing's a oh gem. My, oh my God. <laughs> Seriously. Um, but yeah, I think it's good to have faith and I think it's good to have, um, I don't know, like to allow yourself to be vulnerable yeah. to like a higher power yeah. if you're order to like believe in something yeah. and like leave it in I, I its really, hands. I really like, I'm a really like hardcore believer, especially how... I know how I was that yeah. like if if you live in a world without faith or without God it's really hopeless and I know that sounds very very sad and like dark but yeah. like, it's true like what are you putting your hope in then I think it's good to believe in something rather than nothing Yeah 100% Uh let's say let's just play low 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 game just cuz just curious okay. let's say let's say reincarnation was the right path mm-hmm. or like it's the thing that actually happens what would you want to come back as what would I come back as? I said, don't make me a fish. I hate the ocean. I would really? be scared as hell. Yeah. You ever see like those thalassophobia or whatever? Like the yeah. deep fish? Oh my God. I hate it. Yeah. Don't, don't put me in the ocean. Um, If that were true, I would probably want to come back as like a giraffe or something. Just so I could be tall. <laughs> That'd be chill. Just so I could be tall. Yeah. <laughs> like just Complete to see opposite. what it's like. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's pretty damn tall though. Yeah. Wow. Or a chameleon. Chameleon's probably one of Chameleons my favorite animals. They're cool. So. If, okay, now what if you were something before this version of you now? What do you think you were before? I couldn't answer that. No idea. That's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> if, that, if that is true, I don't, I don't know. Yeah. Because that would raise a bunch of questions in my head. What, um... What's your ethnicity, if you don't mind me asking? You Italian? Irish? What are you, German? I'm a little French. A little French? A little Irish. Okay. A little Polish. Okay. It's probably the big three. What's, like, the main one that your family... Like, any traditions, any anything? No. So we're, if, if we're, some, just, we're just white. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> like that's Is there, it. like, an iconic meal that's made in your house every every so often? Or? Honestly, no. Mm. No. Hey. To each his own. We just eat food. <laughs> that, 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 hell yeah. You kidding me? Um, this has been great. I told you I was going to ask you three things. Mm. Oh, oh gosh. Yeah. Think you're finally ready to answer them? Possibly? Yeah. I could give you a favorite song. We can do that. Okay. I'm going to break it down okay. in case you're new here and you don't know. All right. So normally the question is favorite album or one that you have to recommend to people. Mm-hmm. Hey, or instead of the song. I mean, you could do song or you could do like... Uh, I don't know, like uh, religious music. Yeah, let me some let religious me look, vibes. Let me look, let me look. I got a religious vibes playlist. I gotta fact. find a. I gotta find a. Oh, this is a good one. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll do this one. So, oh, oh, I'm playing a song. That's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> um, so this is Bethel music. Okay. Um, the album. I'm not sure, but Bethel music has amazing songs. I'll put that. I respect it. Um, real quick, are you familiar with the pastor named T.D. Bishop Jakes mm-hmm. at all? No? I just had to ask. Me and my friend, so yesterday we, we didn't go to church, and there's this pastor. I mean, I stumbled upon him like three, four years ago. Mm-hmm. Must have been on IG, and he is like everything you want in your pastor, at least for me. He's like a six-foot, <laughs> 60-year-old black black man with like this this incredible beard <laughs> and he wears these incredible robes and and he and he's like the whole the whole yeah. shebang he's like and it was said uh, and like <laughs> we i i love him yeah. i love him. he drops some bars yeah. when he's on stage yeah. and he was live on youtube yesterday me and my friend 
I, I was here watching it, my big ass in this TV, mm-hmm. and he was watching it on his phone, and we were listening to it together, and oh my God, he was dropping some bars of knowledge. I was, it was incredible, absolutely incredible. But shout out to Bishop Jakes. Um, movie or show recommendation? I know you brought up Criminal Minds, but oh no, yeah. I love Marvel. Mm. Captain America: Winter Soldier is the best Marvel movie. That's a great movie. Don't at me. It's great. That's a great movie. Wait, um, were, were you um? When it came to the Civil War, whose team were you on? Captain America. I'm sorry, all you people that like Iron Man. Why? Oh no! I don't get it. No Tony He's Stark's a, no, over here. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. He only became a hero because of the mistakes he made. Because. Because he almost died by his <laughs> own missile, so he's like, yeah. "Well, now I gotta be a hero." And it's like you're only doing it to save your butt. Hey, like your 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 whole franchise or whatever is just like you're just trying to save it. Like that's that's my mindset, and like I'm so thankful for his sacrifice for the, the spoiler alert. Oh, spoiler alert! Like, I mean, it's been years. Uh, you should but, know by now. Yeah. Anyway, but like grateful that he was the one that to do it all but i'm like at the end of the day i'm like you only became a superhero because to you be were saving though, your butt to be fair though one could say that they would have only let the goat have that power mm-hmm. there was a captain america doing it i'm just saying well i don't know iron man has a suit that can handle them no but yeah that's true not. yeah that's true so who but, else but, is gonna but, do no, it but to, to be fair oh my god i you know, it was crazy because i I knew everything that happened in all the movies, but I, I laid low a little bit because I, once again, against the crowd, yeah. going back to this crowd, I was like, everyone's going to the movies to watch this, this shit. Like, I'm, no, <laughs> I, I'm a, I'm going to wait. And um, I knew I knew what was going to happen, and I still ended up crying like a little boy. Yeah. And it was just, oh, I was, t- I, what really got me was the part where um, Captain America went back in time to finally get his, da- oh my God, beautiful, beautifully written. Yeah. That was incredible. Yeah. It's a, it's a good shout Marvel never fails. I mean, no. they're, they're, well, they're going no, through a rough now, patch. Now they're bad. They're going no. through a rough patch. I cannot, I cannot say that I'm a Marvel, Marvel fan of the no, new No, they're era. really going it's, through a rough patch. After after Loki, the show, I'm... No, I don't know what they're doing. Well, did you see Moon Knight? I thought Moon Knight was good. I did not watch, but I heard it was good. Moon Knight's pretty good. Marvel friend. Moon Knight's pretty good. So I'll give the them those... Oh, WandaVision was great, too. She, I'll she give them the first, the first couple of shows were yeah. good, but now it's just... Yeah, I, I can't. I haven't watched Quantum Mania yet. Either, I'm praying. But. Yeah, I haven't either. I heard it was. Eh. Yeah. But I'm praying that hopefully it's like filler stuff to like get Something back huge. to the point. Yeah. Because you have to have those yeah. moments. I don't know. I don't I know if don't I believe know. in the it. First, the Everyone's gonna keep first, watching though. The first half was just amazing all the way through though. Yeah, we'll see. I don't know, but you know how they're. Yeah. they're I don't know. They're, 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 they're getting a little less riskier when it comes to television these days because yeah. you don't want to offend anything yeah, or anybody. That's true. It's it's tough. Yeah. But. Who knows? They do have to bounce around those mm-hmm. things. Yeah. So, what what about a show? Or would you just want to Show, I love one? New Girl. Really? I, I haven't seen New it yet. Girl. It's on my list. I think it's so funny. Um, it's just my comedy. I also love the show called Scrubs. I don't know if anyone's seen it. It's kind of an older TV show. It's mm. hilarious. Love that as well. Good shouts. Um, let's give me one more. Oh, The Chosen's a great show. It's yeah? basically, it literally just talks about Jesus' life. It's amazing. Oh, that's what's up. It's amazing. I literally cry at every episode. Really? Awesome. Yeah. Have you ever seen The Green Mile? Yes. You have? Yeah. That's a, a while yeah. ago. I was about yeah. to say, if you haven't seen it, like, oh my God, <laughs> you need to see that movie. That's because it seemed like you would love it. Yeah, it's yeah. good that you've seen it. Um, last but not least, some words of advice to friends, family, if you're still watching. Mm. Props to you. Um, or to your future self. Just like a little letter to your future self. You can go back here and remind yourself of something. Put your faith in God and don't stop trusting him. Because those moments where you doubt or turn away are just dark and gloomy. Mm. Trust in God. <laughs> this was incredible. <laughs> Hopefully after next season at some point we do this again. This was great. Mm. If if you want me. You yeah, want to, I'm like, totally oh, down. It was terrible. Was no, I'm kidding. No, it was um, great. <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, yeah. This was awesome. But with that said, everyone has a story and it's still being written. I appreciate all of you for tuning in. And with that said, ciao for now. Peace. <laughs>